Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. The President and First Secretary of ZANU PF, CDE Emerson Dambudzo Mangagwa, has appointed retired General Constantino Garvea Dominic Nikajino Kiwinga and CDE Kemba Mahadi as Vice Presidents and Second Secretaries of the ruling party. In a statement yesterday, Presidential Press Secretary, CDE George Caramba said the appointments were with immediate effect. The President and First Secretary of the ruling Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front, ZANU-PF, CDE Emerson Dambudzo Nangagwa has today made two senior party appointments, said CDE Karemba. General Constantino Gavea Dominic Nikajino Kiwenga, RTD, as Vice President and Second Secretary of the Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front, ZANU PF. Han Kembo C. D. Mahati, MP, as Vice President and Second Secretary of the Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front, ZANU PF. The appointments are with immediate effect. CDE Karamba told Sunday News through the telephone that the appointments were made following extensive consultations with the political, traditional, security arms and war veterans. CDE Karamba said as for the issue of the party's vice president and second secretary from Matabaliland, President Nangagwa sought to get a consensus figure and therefore was guided by sentiments from the Matabalilan region. With regards to the issue of the party's vice president and second secretary from Matabaliland, which is a creature of the Unity Accord, it was important that the president be guided by sentiments from the region. He got quite a number of deputations from Matabaliland, he said. Because of the representations, the president decided to get a consensus figure. So, he had to consult war veterans, the political leadership in Matabaliland, security structures and government and the traditional leadership in Matabaliland. From these four levels, he was then able to get an idea of the consensus figure that the region was comfortable with. He said it was important to note that these were appointments to the party. As regards the governmental side, that's a constitutional issue and announcements must be done at an appropriate level and by an appropriate person who happens to be the chief secretary to the president and cabinet, Dr. Ms. Hexi Bonda. As things stand, the Chief Secretary is out of the country on an urgent assignment. Once he is back, I am sure the announcement will be done, said Mr. Karamba. Sources, however, said following extensive consultations, five names were raised from Matabaliland and those were Ms. Mahati, retired Colonel Chinga Dube. Speaker of Parliament Advocate Jacob Mudenda and Cabinet Ministers Simon Kiamuo and Obert Mpofu. Initially five names were tossed around being that of the Speaker of Parliament CDE Jacob Mudenda, CDE Mahadi himself, Cabinet Minister Simon Kiamuo and Obert Mpofu as well as former Minister, retired Colonel Chinga Dube, said the source. While the five names were forwarded, the war veterans, the political leadership and senior traditional leaders from Matabaliland expressed reservations on each of the candidates. However, despite the reservations, it is understood CDE Mahadi's name came up tops, leading to his appointment by the president.
Sidi E. Mahadi was born on 15th of November, 1949 in Bath Bridge District, Matabalil in South Province. He did his sub-A up to Standard 1 in Bath Bridge, including at Mtatingway Primary School, before proceeding to Gwanda Primary School for Standard 2. He was at Bathbridge Boarding School up to Standard 6 before proceeding to Manama High School in Gwanda for secondary education and then Gormansi High School in Mashonaland East where he was kicked out while doing Form 3. CDE Mohadi joined the liberation struggle in the early 70s when he left the country for military training in Zambia via Botswana. He later went to Russia for further training and on his return was attested to a department within ZAPU called Zimbabwe Intelligence Services under the command of the late CDE Ethan Dubey but was detained at Kami Maximum Prison in 1976 until his release at Independence in 1980. He was appointed Defense, Security and War Veterans Minister last month. He had served as the Minister of State for National Security in the President's Office, 2015 to 2017, and Minister of Home Affairs from 2002 to 2015. RTD Jemke Wenga was born on 25th of August, 1956 in Hwaza, Mishonaland East. Sunday News he did his secondary school at St. Mary's Mission in the same district before joining the liberation struggle as a 17-year-old and received military training in Zambia and Tanzania. In 1974, he was appointed a member of the Zanla General Staff and rose to become a member of the Zanla High Command as Deputy Commissar in 1978. During the ceasefire period, RTD Jenki Wenga was appointed to the ceasefire monitoring team assigned to Manikaland in 1980 and later moved to Musvingo the same year. He was commissioned a brigadier on April 16, 1981 and within the same year was appointed commander of one brigade. In 1984, he was appointed commander of 5 Brigade and later as Brigadier General based at Army Headquarters until his promotion to Major General, becoming Chief of Staff, Administration and Quartermaster. Another promotion in 1994 saw him assume the rank of Lieutenant General and Commander of the Zimbabwe National Army on the formation of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. In 2004, he took over as CDF commander upon retirement of General Vitalis Svinivash. Sunday News, 